Hey, I thought today we could talk about how to score over the 99th percentile on Comlex level three. And for those of you out there who are going to be taking USMLE step three, I hope some of this can be helpful to you as well as I was initially planning on taking step three additionally, as I did with um, step two and level two. Starting off, what I did to prepare for Comlex level three and step three um, initially, I started doing U-World questions after match day. So I started March of 2024 st studying for this exam. And I thought, you know, why not use this time where I'm still in medical school to start preparing for this exam so that I have, so I'm able to take the exam early in residency and have that time off after I'm done to just, you know, have a busy day at residency and come home and relax. I didn't want to have to be studying you know, before and after I came home from the hospital. So I thought that this approach worked really well for me. I know that there are several sets of people out there. Some think you need to just enjoy every moment that you have off three and fourth year, and then others are willing to use some of that time to study. I wasn't studying a ton every day when I was still in medical school. I would say, you know, 20 questions a day, maybe 30 questions a day. If I was really feeling motivated, sometimes more than that but I had pretty light rotations after match and I just utilized that time to study and do practice questions on UWorld. And then I also got to have a bunch of free time as well and do everything that I had wanted to do throughout medical school that I didn't have time for. So I didn't feel like it inhibited me at all. And I felt like it was time well spent so that I didn't have to be studying during intern year when I really need that time off, you know? So anyway, I started out with UWorld during that time. And then once I was done with UWorld, I also did my incorrects. And the way that I did this differently than prior is when I got a question incorrect or if I guessed on an answer, I flagged that question. So I ended up just going back through all of my flagged questions rather than my incorrects in UWorld. If that's helpful, that's what I did. So yeah, UWorld plus incorrects. Okay, and then the other thing that you need to get are CDM cases for the DOs. This would be CCS cases for the MDs. So this is a website, it's, it's like through the same host website, but um, the second day of the exam is different for MDs versus DOs. Um, and that's why there are two different things, but basically these are cases and um, they, they step you through these cases and you need to choose what labs you're going to do, imaging, next steps, medications, etc. So uh, I got the separate subscription with um, cdmcases.com. And for the MDs, that would be uh, ccscases.com. So that was an additional subscription. I went through all of them. Um, not everybody goes through all of them. Uh, I, I Yeah, anyway, but I went through all of them. I also did all of UWorld and all of my incorrect slash, you know, flagged questions. And, you know, talking to my co-residents and friends, people don't get through all of UWorld or all of the CCS cases or CDM cases. I think often it's like halfway, at least that's what they say. I, I don't know if this is actually true, but from what I've heard, most people don't get through all of it. So if you want to score really highly on these exams, just by doing all of it, you're already a step ahead. Okay, so the next thing is um, I got a True Learn subscription just for a few months to go through ComBank questions, specifically in OMT. If you're an MD candidate, obviously don't worry about this. You don't need to do this, but for those of you DOs out there, it's always important to refresh that OMT. And I did it with uh, True Learn ComBank, so I just filtered through for those um, OMT questions. And then also for you DOs out there, um, within the True Learn ComBank, um, I also did all of the like CDM cases that True Learn had in their QBank as well. I thought they were a better representation of the actual exam as opposed to as opposed to CDMcases.com. CDM cases was good in getting your numbers up and getting exposure to a lot of different cases, but I felt like ComBank's questions were a little bit better in this. Moving past that, the next thing are the NBME and the NBOME practice exams. So you can go onto their websites and you can get the step three or level three practice exams that they have available. Um, I did this, found, I always find them to be very helpful. Um, and yeah, so 
you'll get a numerical score at the end of it. So you can kind of see, okay, am I prepared for this exam or not? And also I think the question style of these, because they're tests that you can buy from the test maker, it's very similarly worded. It helps you get in the right frame of mind, yada, yada. I thought that that was helpful. I did that for step two and level two as well. Very, very um, helpful. I think um, it's called the COMSA for DOs. Um, for the MDs, it's uh, the CCSE, I think. Is that what it's called? Clinical self-assessment. Anyway, that's pretty much it. If you you know, got done with all of this early and you wanted to prepare additionally, what you could do is you could go back into your self-assessments for step two and go back through all of those. So those clinical mastery series forms or um, the the longer self-assessments through the NBME can be very helpful um, if you have extra time and you want to. And if you really wanted to score well, I would, I would do that. Um, since I didn't end up taking step three, I didn't do this. But if I would have taken step three, I probably would have gone back through at least some of those, um, maybe the higher yield ones like internal medicine. And then additionally for you DOs out there, um, as far as the OMT, it's always good to go back through and review your Chapman's points muscle strain techniques, um, all of that kind of miscellaneous stuff that they love to hit you with on test days, um, going through and reviewing some of that. I know some people who score really well without doing all of that, and that's great. It's I think it's like 10% or less of the exam, so you're still able to score really well, even if you don't do it at all, but I, I did. <laughs> I mean, more points on the table, why not just go back through the OMT stuff. And then once you do it, you're done. So yeah, that is how I scored over the 99th percentile in Comlex level three. I hope that this could be helpful for those of you out there who are preparing. I guess my biggest words of advice are to prepare early and to have a good strategy. And hopefully this helps you in that. Okay. See you in the next one. Let me know if you have any questions down below.